Smile Baby. singer and I also write our lyrics though always it's a full collaboration in our music and um, I do a lot of the management as well I'm the band mom apparently <laughs> though case and I are in a relationship so that's a little weird but I'm a band mom to the others <laughs> I play the drums and I fancy myself the music director in the back running the tracks um, I play bass and I'll occasionally sing backup vocals. Uh, so I play guitar mm -hmm. and um, bring the good vibes. The idea behind it, it, it really started more for a love of playing music live. And the idea was how can we play at these awesome music venues they have in Atlanta and be a part of this community. Well, we have to write our own songs. Mm -hmm. And um, Case's childhood best friend, Winton Josephs, is a producer. So the four of us started working on music together in January of 2023. And somehow we had an EP, and then we realized, oh, my guitar skills are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> we need a guitarist to really take our music to the next level. So I went on this one site called Band Mix. It's like Tinder for like band mates. You like post your profile and like people can come and like send you messages and stuff. And um, there wasn't really anything on there. It was just kind of like cover bands and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what, let me check Craigslist. Um, I was a little nervous because, you know, everyone knows Craigslist, but I saw an ad for an indie band, and luckily they had music on Spotify, or they had a song on Spotify. So I went and checked it out. It was cool, I thought it was different, and messaged them, they messaged me back, and then I came up here to practice, and the rest is history. I was really nervous though. I was like, uh, I might die, but at least I have, you know, maybe we'll play a song and then they'll murder me, but... <laughs> Winton had a ton of ideas that he would send us and then we would kind of, especially with that first EP, we would just kind of mold our ideas together with Winton and come out with what the EP was. Uh, whereas now we have Mike as a guitarist and now we can kind of create from inside first and then bring it to a producer, whether that's Winton or hopefully this year we'll be working with some other producers as well and seeing what else we can come up with. Really anybody inspires me, but for me, I'm probably most inspired by like a random busker you're gonna see. Any city, any town, anywhere you go, you're gonna find musicians, you're gonna hear music. So that's what inspires me most, just seeing someone or a group live. Without tracks or anything, just unpolished on the street, that's where I find my most inspiration. I grew up listening to cassettes of my dad's band playing live from like the early 80s. Um, and these guys know this, but in the past few weeks I've found those like actually on CD recently and I've been re-listening to all of them and realizing how much I was inspired by hearing all these like cover songs where I heard those versions first before the actual real versions. Um, so yeah, that's where a lot of my inspiration early on came from. Bass was always one of those instruments where I was like, I don't, they just look like they're having a good time and like I can hear them. I know not everybody can hear them. Um, so. I was like, well, I just, I kind of want to do that. And I was really bad at guitar, so I, <laughs> I kind of gave up there. Um, but bass was fun, so it made me feel, I don't know, it, it was, I enjoyed it. But I think it's really cool to not only tell a story with lyrics, but when the lyrics drop out and you're still able to convey this emotion and these themes with just music, um, you're able to communicate with so many people even if you're not speaking the same language. Yeah, I'd say the same thing, like kind of anybody who's willing to put themselves out there and be creative, to me that's inspiring. So, you know, I, I kind of jump between different styles and moods and stuff and um, just being able to 
you know, be vulnerable like that is really inspiring to me. A lot of our fans at this stage are still friends, family, friends of friends. But we have a couple who just found us randomly and, and really liked our music. So I'd say thank you, gratitude. That's my one message I'd want to give. Um, I Connection is so important, you know, and it's, it's harder and harder to feel that in this world that we live in. So I, I just feel so grateful to be able to connect with people on that level, um, especially because music is such a vulnerable, precious thing. A lot of the people at our show, I always feel like there's a good energy, like everybody's mm -hmm. just kind of there to have a good time, so I like that vibe. Mm -hmm. And if you're, if you're watching this and you're not from Atlanta, hopefully we come to your town. And if you're a band not from Atlanta and you want us to play with yes, you, you're yes. <laughs> South, it's from Southeast shows, we're down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Florida, yeah. Uh, Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina. We would love to do some of those states. So. I think this is going to be the year of music videos and singles. I don't know if we'll have another EP out this year, but I'd like to drop an EP worth of material at least For this sure. year. Yeah. Um, it just might not be all part of one project. Um, but yeah, other yeah. than that, visuals. Uh, There's some cool stuff coming out. Yeah. yeah. Robin's working on some really cool stuff that I don't even want to talk about yet, but <laughs> some, some stop motion or something, we'll see. Yeah. So. Yeah, so stay tuned. For anybody who's listening and who has a musical bone and really wants to do it but is scared, just do it. Because there's always an audience out there for everyone and now we're all connected. So yeah, just get out there. Um, no, just thanks for supporting me in my hobbies and my interests and I appreciate all of them for it and I love them. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for any support that you've given me in now or in the past. Um, I appreciate my family and my friends, and um, I'm looking forward to continuing working with my friends here within Couch Cult as well, and uh, just other like-minded people. So that's about it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mackenzie. All right, and that's Cool. I stumbled through that. That's really sorry, guys. You did well. Thank you.